welcome to my channel where we make structural engineering design simple and very very easy my name is Oludu Konyedi and I'm your host so we want to appreciate everyone who has subscribed to our channel and those who have been encouraging us to do this great work and those that are sending encouraging messages i say we appreciate you we appreciate you and those who are here to subscribe please click the subscribe button click the subscribe button thank you very much we've been getting a lot of comments we really appreciate that we really appreciate that we got a comment from engineer ale chono adoga engineer ale chenu adoga you didn't tell us where you are commenting from if you are in if you are in nigeria please tell us the states you are in or if you are outside nigeria please just tell us the country you are you are commenting from it will really encourage us more so um engineer ale ale chono adoga said great videos engineer thank you very much i appreciate that appreciate that another of our subscriber emmanuel oh seride emmanuel oh seride you didn't tell us where you are commenting from please next time just tell us if it's in nigeria please which states you are commenting from and if it's outside nigeria tell us the country he said can you send the link can you link the video that has the template in this description please okay i think you are talking about organizing your drawings i will look for it and send to you i really really appreciate that we have a mike mood Motiso, Mike Motiso, you still didn't tell us where you are commenting from. Please do tell us where you are commenting from. Please tell us where you are commenting from. Um, you said, uh, Mike, you said this is a great tutorial. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Is there a way in which one can change rebar? tag from y or h to t um mike mutiso um that is how it is programmed the only place you can change your your letters from y to t is in autocad after you've done after you've exported it to um after you've exported it to autocad what you can do is in AutoCAD in your command bar just type in find if you type in find a dialog box will come out then you see replace click on what you want to replace if it's h or y or whatever then type the word you want to replace it with let's assume you want to replace y with c just type y then the the actual word you want put t then click replace once you click that it will automatically replace that i hope it answered your question i hope that answers your question but in prota i have checked there's no place to change it but where you can change it is in AutoCAD. So please check that. If not, comment. Let us know if it solved the problem. If it solved the problem. And we have um, Potasco Potaraska from Thailand. I appreciate you, sir. You say thank you. I really appreciate your constant comment. Your constant comment. And we have... Um, Eddie Kuma commented, please sloping beams and slab. Please sloping beams and slab. Those will be 
other videos that we will be putting up we will be putting up very soon very very soon just stay tuned to this channel we are we are creating videos for that soon soon very very soon we are trying to make sure we answer every one of these questions it's quite difficult it's quite um, hectic putting out videos with my schedule but definitely we will get the videos out soon uh, Nathaniel Amate said Kunye Diolodo this link you sent is for strip foundation I think you are asking for um, staircase and um, staircase and slope beam I think so just give us some time we will put out a video for that then we have a knock in the year same year a knock in the year same year commented hello i faced problem of increase in reinforcement in top floors in top floors column instead of ground wound what is the reason and how to solve it and you said i am enough from university of rwanda cst my comment was sent earlier yes enough i have done a video on that Prota structure the way it was designed it introduced it makes the the top columns heavier than the bottom columns i have done a video on that i think i have sent you the link please go through the video how that is done so but what i said i prefer doing my column design manually so check our videos go back to our um, uh, China check down where the videos we've done some videos for you check that and get back to us if it answered the, the question you are asking please get back let us know let us know Emmanuel Oseribe commented can you okay I think we've answered that Nathaniel Amate, I am not Nathaniel from Ghana. How to add staircases in a building? That video, as I said earlier, is coming up very, very soon. We are on it, we are working on it. You will soon get that. And we have more, more red card, more red card consults. You didn't tell us where you are commenting from please if you are commenting please tell us where you are commenting from you said please i'm finding it difficult to retain my column size in autocad to proto structure i don't really understand that question if you can really I will try to explain but if that is not what you are asking please tell us you can re-ask that question again you said I'm finding it difficult to retain my column size in AutoCAD to proto structure if I understand this question is you are finding it difficult to import or retain your column size in AutoCAD to put a structure. Let me answer how I understand this question. But if not, please, um, more red card, you can send us the question and explain better. If you're importing from AutoCAD, make sure you import using, using, um, polylines not regular lines but use polylines then make sure you dimension your polylines properly if you've done it properly you can easily import to to what um, structure 
I hope that answers your question. I hope that answers the question. If you're having issues, if you can explain it better, if the question is to import from AutoCAD to Prota Structure, check our videos. We've done a lot of videos on that. I think so. We've done a lot. Just go through any of them and we will be glad to respond to you we will be glad to respond to you if there's any other thing you would like us to do we will do that we will do that so but for um for these columns if you look at your columns the load by the um um enoch in the year Sime, Sime from Rwanda please what I do most time is I come to this I, this is active window settings I come to column I say as your load come here I click on the co load combinations the load combinations I click on load combination I said okay so if you look carefully if you look carefully on this floor we are having 1290 then if you go to the upper floor you see the load reduce it reduces so this column design can never be heavier than this other column design so most time i do this and pick the largest um, the largest column load and do my design please check we've done we've done some of this calculation please check the uh, uh, uh videos we have done it so with this this is how you know the exact load so if Prota structure is giving you a, a different answer. Go through this and design it manually. I have shown you how to do it. Please check and if that answers your question, let us know. But if not, still let us know. I will stop here until I bring you another video. I'll say remain blessed and if you are yet to subscribe please just hit the subscribe button and we'll see you again thanks